Have you ever bought a fresh carton of milk, placed it neatly in the fridge, felt confident about the best before date, only to open it two days later and discover it smells like something that could power a rocket? It's one of those small mysteries we all run into. Milk stays perfectly fine when sealed, but once we crack it open, it suddenly seems to age in dog years. Today, we're diving into one of the most overlooked little science stories hiding in your fridge. And by the end of this video, you'll never look at milk the same way again. All happening right here on History of Simple Things. So let's start at the very beginning. Fresh milk is incredibly fragile. Before it gets to your kitchen, it goes through an entire journey. From the cow, to processing facilities, to refrigerated trucks, and finally, to your grocery shelf. During that trip, one of its greatest protectors is pasteurization. That's the process where milk is heated to a certain temperature to kill harmful bacteria. It doesn't sterilize milk completely, but it knocks out enough microbes to give it a decent shelf life. When your milk is still sealed, it's basically in a protected bubble, clean, controlled, untouched. But the moment you open that container, everything changes. Let's talk about milk's biggest enemy once opened, bacteria. When you crack open a carton or twist the cap on a bottle, you're essentially inviting the outside world in. And the outside world is full of microscopic hitchhikers. Every time air enters the container, tiny bacteria and spores ride along with it. Some of them are harmless. Others are the kind that absolutely love milk. Once they land inside, they start doing what bacteria do best, eating, multiplying, and well, causing chaos. And milk is the perfect place for that chaos. Think about what milk actually is. A mix of water, proteins, fats, natural sugars, vitamins, and minerals. Warm or cold, that's a buffet. It's like an all-you-can-eat restaurant for microbes. So when new bacteria enter the carton, they don't waste a second. They start feeding on the lactose, breaking it down and producing lactic acid. That's one of the first signs that spoilage is happening. The acidity increases and the milk starts to develop that sour smell. Now, even if you're very careful and pour milk without letting anything fall into it, the simple act of opening and closing the container introduces contamination. But air isn't the only source. Your refrigerator, that cold, trusted friend, is also filled with bacteria. Sure, it slows them down, but it doesn't freeze them in time. The shelves, the door handle, the inside walls, all of these surfaces can transfer microbes. Milk containers often sit in the fridge door, which swings open constantly, making it the warmest part of the refrigerator. That fluctuation in temperature is practically an invitation for bacteria to speed up their growth. Speaking of temperature, let's talk about the role of heat, even very small amounts of it. Milk spoils faster once open partly because we take it out, pour it, and put it back. That little routine might seem harmless, but each time the milk warms up even slightly, the bacteria inside wake up and become more active. Then we put the milk back in the cold, slowing them down again. That constant cycling, warm, cold, warm, cold, creates perfect conditions for faster spoilage. Milk basically lives a stressful roller coaster life once we open it. But here's something many people don't realize. Your own habits influence how fast milk spoils. For example, some of us pour milk directly from the carton into a pot while cooking. Others drink straight from the bottle. No judgment, but maybe don't. Each of those habits introduces saliva bacteria or environmental contaminants right into the milk. 
Even the spoon you double dip after stirring your coffee can speed up spoilage. Milk is sensitive, and anything that enters it can tip the balance much earlier than the expiration date suggests. Of course, not all milk spoils at the same pace. Ultra-high temperature milk, or UHT milk, lasts much longer sealed. That's why some cartons can stay on shelves for months before opening. But once opened, even UHT milk quickly loses its superpower. When sealed, it's sterile inside. Once opened, it's like any other fresh product reacting to the real world. Another big reason milk spoils faster once opened is something called oxidation. When milk is sealed, very little oxygen in the container is interacting with the fats inside. But after opening, air gets in and oxygen starts bonding with milk fat molecules. This chemical reaction changes the flavor and odor, causing milk to taste stale or slightly metallic long before it smells truly sour. You might notice the taste changes even when the milk looks fine. That's oxidation at work. Then there's the issue of light. Many types of milk come in clear or semi-transparent containers. When milk is exposed to light, especially fluorescent or LED light inside refrigerators, some of its nutrients start breaking down, particularly riboflavin, vitamin B2. This leads to what's called light oxidized flavor, which is a fancy way of saying it tastes kind of weird. While light exposure is not the main reason milk spoils faster, it does accelerate chemical changes once air is already inside the container. And since most households leave milk somewhere visible inside the fridge, the effect is hard to avoid. Now here's the twist no one expects. Modern refrigeration actually contributes to the illusion that milk should last longer than it really can. Because we rely so much on cold storage, we assume anything kept chilled should stay fresh. But pasteurization only removes the dangerous bacteria, not the spoilage-causing ones. Some bacteria are actually heat-resistant and survive the pasteurization process. They stay dormant while sealed, but they wake up once the conditions become favorable, and an open container is a perfect opportunity. So when your milk spoils just a few days after opening, it's not because you bought a bad batch. It's because milk has always been a delicate food, easily influenced by air, temperature, light, and everything around it. At the end of the day, Milk is one of the most everyday things we consume, yet it hides so much science behind it. From pasteurization and microbial growth to temperature swings and oxidation, everything about milk's behavior once opened is a story of chemistry and biology working together, or in this case, working against us. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our other bingeable channels. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.